however strong you may become through asanas however strong you may make your mind very powerful through pranayamas yet without a strong moral fabric without a strong moral muscles the very physical strength and mental strength will become your enemy yoga has been practiced in our ancient land for god knows there is no year or time defining when this tradition began it's an evolving tradition i would like to say that from simple asanas that you begin with pranayams that we are busy with regulating our breath regulating our body with asanas adopting certain moral principles what to do niyamas and what not to do yamas and then this journey further taking us to pratyahar where you withdraw yourself to a focus level and then enter into dharana where that focus remains continuous like a dhara like a flow and when we attain that you automatically very simply very sahaj way you enter into dhyana which can easily culminate into samadhi theoretically wonderful practically dicey challenging why how strong you may become through asanas how strong you may make your mind very powerful through pranayamas yet without a strong moral fabric without a strong moral muscles the very physical strength and mental strength will become your enemy without this moral compass that guides us from within you'll be lost in fact your strength will become your weakest link why in heartfulness way we actually start with a supposition with the dharana that yes there is divine presence within me it's a thought we allow this thought to culminate into experience a feeling through meditation and this meditation is guided by guru's pranahuti he transmits its prana into us wherever you are you are able to feel it experience that each day as we meditate our spiritual state our spiritual condition will go on changing and every time we enter into a deeper level of consciousness which is easily felt i would say that yoga meditation they are not different things yoga is you can say it's a gamut of practices i would rather begin with meditation synthesize my heart so i can appreciate yama and niyama and importance of regularity with my asanas and pranayamas so begin with meditation that can sensitize our heart yoga is a fundamental thing coincidentally when you see the meaning of yoga means to unite and the meaning of religion also means to unite religion is a word derived from re religion re legare re connect re join rejoining what many levels of rejoining can happen my consciousness with the ultimate atman with parmatman unite us all this is yoga this is religion whether it is christianity buddhism Sikhism, Jainism, Hinduism, or Islam. Purpose of all religion is to reunite, to rejoin. But we see the tragedy in the name of religion. We fight. My God is better than yours. If you're not believing in my God, you're not a human being. So as long as this attitude remains. then it will keep on separating 
one human being from another human being. The clarion call of yoga, of spirituality, which transcends the religion, which sees the oneness of godliness in everything that exists. That is the need of the hour. Just as Patanjali has given us the key in his very definition of yoga, the yoga chitta vritti niroda. It's a key, it's a formula, how to arrive at yogic state. Yoga means unity. How do you arrive? So he defines and gives the way. This is how you come to a state of yoga. And then the whole description starts. It's a key. Yoga is something that elevates us, makes us lighter, makes us beyond. It creates oneness. There are many steps. Main ones are eight steps. That's why it's called Ashtanga Yoga by Patanjali. See? In our heartfulness way, we begin with last three steps. Dharana, Dhyan and Samadhi. So based on this, there are many things this Heartfulness Institute has to offer. Among all this, besides all these things, we offer anger detox, anxiety detox, lust detox, fear detox, and how to manage sleep. These are modern day diseases. We are not only looking after into the problems associated with physical health. Today, a major problem is mental health, arising out of moral crisis, and how to tackle this moral crisis at the root level. We are talking only of physical health at this level, while we are alive. Yoga is all about going beyond life itself. It is all about existence. It is not just about this life. It is about existence, not only of mine, but everyone else. That's why we have in our sastras, Vishwasanti prayer. The prayer, not for myself alone, but for everything that exists in this universe. And that is the purpose of yoga.